Hello friends. Uh, what you see on the board is the topic that I am going to discuss today. The topic is as you see reading and writing Tamil. What uh, prompted me to uh, choose this topic is that uh, quite a few parents have come to me and they have complained that their children are uh, not able to read or write Tamil. Although their mother tongue is Tamil and they speak Tamil at home very fluently, they understand, but the, you can't blame them too because the parents have shifted out of Tamil Nadu where Tamil is not uh, taught in several states, in several schools. Therefore, they are taught in local language, be it Marathi, be it Telugu, be it Kannada, be it Malayalam. Uh, or any of the North Indian uh, states of India or for that matter even out of India say Germany, France, Italy, Greece and so on wherever they settle on they are not taught their local language where the Tamil families they speak Tamil at home but the children uh, do not pick up reading and writing knowledge of Tamil for such people I thought maybe I will make an effort to make a simpler me uh, method uh, to teach them and in, the, in a simpler way and not in the traditional way of saying A, B, C, D or R, A, E and so on. This is a totally different method aiming at children or even uh, adults for that matter who are enthusiastic uh, to learn read, reading and writing English. So we shall go into the topic right away. This does not however mean that people who do not know Tamil at all uh, should not know, uh, should not go through this uh, course or uh, would not uh, understand anything from this, you are most welcome and I would be too glad to answer all of your questions when you uh, write your questions in the comments part. Okay, now we will go into the topic straight away. Condition number one. We will uh, uh, now uh, go into this, you, you look at the traditional uh, uh, lettering uh, sequence in Hindi, it's the same in uh, Telugu, it's the same in Kannada, it's the same in Malayalam, but it is different in Tamil. What is the difference in Tamil is what we are going to see now with reference to this set. Now, we have seen here this is Ka, Ka, Ga, Ga, Cha, Cha, Ta, Ta, Da. Tha, ta, ta, da, tha, pa, ha, ba, bha. That is how we pronounce this. Now, Tamil does not have so many letters, unfortunately. And, that, and in Tamil, when you want to say ka, any of these letters, uh, or, or when you want to say ka, uh, these three letters get merged into this. That is, all these three letters are represented by ka alone. The pronunciation, whether it is, we pronounce ka or ga or ka ga, will depend on the situation, which comes by experience only. Now, the same thing applies to here. Ka, ga, ga are represented by this ka. So, once you write ka, it could be pronounced as ga or ka or ga. It will be difficult to uh, just by looking at the letter, it will be difficult to say whether it's ka, but it will go in the word itself. For example, you say Padma. Padma for a pa becomes ba. Ka, if you say, say for example ka ka, it could be pronounced as ga ga also when you are writing in Tamil. So that is ka. Likewise for cha and cha, that's okay. Cha and cha, this, there is no very variation here because here you will have ja and ja. Those letters are different. We have this. We have different letters. Jar, ja is present in Tamil. So there is. We have, but again, only ja. This ja, which is here, will be different, and cha this cha is different. So we have two letters in Tamil, unlike here. So we have two letters here, and here again, this is the same logic here. Ta, ta, da, da. These three letters are represented by ta. For example, if you want to say. If you want to write Tata, it can be read as also Da Da. Uh, likewise, we come to this one. Ta, Ta, Da, Da. These three letters, Tha, Da and Da 
are pronounced are represented by this letter. Therefore, you have one letter representing these three letters as you have in these two. These two. So now, if you say, if you want to say ta ta, it could be read, it could be read as da da also. Uh, then we come to pa. This one pa ta ba ba. The same logic here. These three letters are represented by pa. Say, if you if you want to, uh, if it is written as pa pa, it could be read as ba ba also. So this is, for example, uh, say you are writing. I am writing in English for easy understanding. Suppose you are writing pa pa in Tamil, it could be read, read as ba ba also. Ba ba also because pa and pa represent both pa and ba. Therefore, this these will be spelled identically in the print. Whereas in, when you read. It will be depending on the situation. So this is first condition. You must always remember that the moment because you are used to this type of uh, pronunciation, the moment somebody says Ganga, you immediately will start thinking about what is how do you write Ga. What should strike you is you should strike you start writing Ka, and because there is no Ga, what should uh, strike you is yes Ga. If I want to write Ga, Ganga, Ga, it should be Ka only. So. Any of these letter, three letters will be represented by this. S same here. Suppose I say dal da, then the, you should not think how do I write da. It is tal ta as spelt in print, but you should read as dal da. Likewise, the, the, the other uh, uh, goes also are spelt. I, mean, I do not want to take much time. The idea is to drive the logic in. So the first rule is you must remember that this first row represents the other corresponding three letters except this where cha cha ja and ja because there is no ja ja here it's only one ja and that is represented separately this is an exception but otherwise these four no we will go this is first row in row two in row two what we say is uh, now we have several letters in Tamil ka cha ta La, la, ra, la, ma, ta, and so on. Now, this rule says that when you keep a dot, when you put a dot on the top of the letter, it the it uh, transforms the letter into such that the vowel part is taken out and the consonant part will remain. That means, for example, if you say ta, it is actually it it, it plus a. Now, when you put a dot on the top of it, ta. It becomes it and a is removed. For example, another example, you have ra. Ra. I'm writing since you are not familiar with letters of English, I'm writing in English. Ra. Ra is actually ir plus a. That is a combination of letters. That is ir plus a. This is the vowel part. This is the consonant part. When I put a dot on the top of Tamil ra, it becomes ir. And A is removed. So, Ra, a dot on the top of it is Ir. La, top, uh, dot on the top of it, E. Ka, dot on the top of it, I. Uh, ma, uh, dot on the top of it, the top of it is Im, and so on. So, this is the second rule. So, you want to so say, Ka, Ka, right? Ka, I. How do you write it? Ka with the dot and dot. Simple as that. Ram, Ra, Ma. You know, suppose you know how to write Ma. Put a dot and dot top of it. Ram. So this removes the, uh, the, the vowel part of it. So this is the second rule. Now we go to the third rule. Third rule is now look at this letter. I won't call it a letter. It's actually a misnomer. It should have been called a sign. Now this, uh, this sign written next to a letter gives us stress to the letter or elongated vowel in simpler terms. Now how do, what does this mean? Suppose I write ka and next to this, next to ka I write, I put this sign, it becomes ka, elongated vowel, ka, cha, write cha and then this letter becomes cha. Ra followed by this sign, 
raw and so on. Like for example, raw is there. If I put this, I suppose that this is written in Tamil, raw, raw is written in Tamil. Plus, next to this I put this, put this sign, it becomes raw. As you can royal, if you want to say. This is how we write Ra followed this, this sign. Right? This is the third one. This is the third one. Now, when you want to, when you are when you are learning, you have to bear in mind these three rules so that you, you don't make a mistake. There you get you are likely to get into, into confusion how do you write ga or da and so on. Immediately, the moment I say da da, it will immediately strike you that da should come. Likewise, here in the second rule, how to write in, in, in and so on, it becomes a dot on the top of it. Here, this sign, if it follows a letter, it is it, pro, it uh, prolongs the vowel. This is the third one. And incidentally, this sign in Tamil is called Kaluvanjan. It means This is how it is written. Kalvang. This sign is called in Tamil as Kalvang. That means a Kalvang placed next to a letter gives you a prolonged, prolonged, uh, prolonged uh, letter or vowel or whatever it is. Ka, ka followed by Kalvang becomes Ka. Ja followed by Kalvang becomes Ja. And so on. So it is simple. Just to now we have learnt three rules. And these three rules have to be applied in the initial stages when you are drawing, so that it becomes much easier. It will trigger your thought how to write a particular letter. You will not be at a loss. Because there, the, this method follows a certain logic, the procedure, unlike the other systems, the conventional system of learning, like RIE, which uh, don't have any logic in it, you are just go on learning blindly, uh, just because R follows R and so on. Here, there is a certain logic. So, when you have a logic, it's very easy to develop the whole process. You because you'll be triggered to think based on the previous statement. Now, if you remember these three uh, rules, it's very easy to uh, write the this one, write the words. I can tell you very confidently that if you just seriously sit uh, with this lesson for about one hour, within uh, within that one hour, at the end of one hour, you'll be able to write at least twenty words without mistakes as long as you uh, concentrate fully on this whereas I can tell you again if you have a conventional method of learning of writing RI even if you uh, go through a, a 4 hours or 5 hours of course you will not be able to write even a single or probably very very few words so this is the big difference in no time probably you will be writing sentences if you go through this system of learning this is again I, I can tell you that this system of learning is not taught by anyone, it is totally logic oriented and it's very simple, easily understandable. And like you say, suppose uh, 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 you just go on writing as it is written there and you will not have any logic on this. Now we will go into the, the three rules are over, we will go into the actual design.